And when, also, when I finished Batman, if I make Batman, I will then try to write a fiction novel, which is what I've always wanted to do. So I'm completely sort of booked up for three years, so I'm okay. I'll be 80 then when that's finished. And then I might retire, but I, I don't know. Do you know what the novel the novel is about? The novel will be about uh, uh, terrorism and a thriller. It's the sort of thing I read all the time. It, be for guys, you know, it's not some great literary effort. It's a thriller. I was writing it and I stopped several years ago because I had an, in it, I had an airplane crash into a skyscraper in the city and then they did it in real life. So I, I stopped. I, I was quite stunned by that and I, I never wrote it again and I just left it all. But it, it was it was weird because I had seen, I had nicked it off the television where I had seen the the chief constable of Manila in the Philippines and they the program was about terrorism and I was watching all the programs about terrorism because I'm writing this book and he had arrested this man who had overstayed his visa and it was Mohammed Atal and he held up a, a, a picture, a drawing that he'd found in Atal's luggage of an airplane going into the Sears Tower in Chicago and I just thought, well, what a great idea that is. So I used it. But then, of course, when 911 happened, I went, wow, I'm, I'm out of there. I can't use that. And the amazing thing is that Mohammed Atta was flying one of those planes. And, and Mohammed Atta actually did it, yeah. 